This is bodybuilding. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is my final back day. You'll see a complete back workout with me doing typical bodybuilder stuff. Uh, just doing the pyramid, lifting pretty much lower lower uh, weight at the beginning, and then slowly increasing the weights and uh, getting uh, about you know finishing off five to six reps. And uh, this is the end of a contest prep. So if I look tired, you'll know why. Enjoy. Cheers. Okay, so third set, always on a little bit more, doing my pyramid. Smash the boots. When you walk out on that field today, ask yourself this question. What time is it? Game time! What time is it? Game time! What time is it? Game time! What time is it? Let's go, we ready! We ready! We ready! We ready! And it don't do that! When I step on the field, I send one message. And this is what it feels like. This is what it feels like. Football is getting hit. That's it. It's gonna be football now. What time is it? Game time. What time is it? Game time. What time is it? Game time. What time is it? Let's hunt now. We're talking about the Jets like we're talking about the Saints. You know, all this, how like we the Miami Heat of football. Yeah, 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 yeah. The bottom line is you got to book a little for chin scraps. It's embarrassing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't disrespect the game like that. There's too much crying from them. He's a man. They can be hit just like us. He's a man. You already make the big money. He's a man. Don't cry when you step on the field, man. That's war I did. When I step on the field, I send one message. And this is what it feels like. Oh, my bad, my bad. Your bad don't work in my world. What time is it? Game time. What time is it? Game time. What time is it? Game time. What time is it? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a wrap. Game over. You're not alone, motherfucker. I'm with you. I'm with you. And all the rest of you motherfuckers who want to talk shit about us crazy motherfuckers, I got a big ass to fuck you. You a psycho about this shit. Look at Drew. <laughs> you crazy, you crazy the motherfucker, ain't true. I like that shit. Who else would want to be fucking enormous? Who else is happy when they go in the fucking store and they tell them they ain't got nothing to fix your ass? Who else would be happy about that shit but a sick motherfucker? Who else want to crack the fucking sidewalk when they walk down the street? Who else want to park the motherfucking crowd when they walk down the street? Nobody <laughs> but a sick motherfucker want to do that. I'm a sick motherfucker. And I know the a bunch of other sick motherfuckers out there too. Sick motherfuckers in Russia, sick motherfuckers in New Zealand, sick motherfuckers in Austin, sick motherfuckers all over the motherfucking planet. <laughs> and I'm proud to pull that shit. Woo! You want all them lumps, bumps, muscles, and veins and shit? Hell yeah! Striations. <laughs> Enough of that shit. High stakes lifting. Bulo said, I'll see them motherfucking three and raise you three players. What do you think about that, Wimpy? They're gonna raise them three players. Fuck them rankings. <laughs> I started off with my weak arm, and I go to my dominant arm, so that if I fail, the dominant arm doesn't take precedence. As you can see, I'm able to do as many as my left quite easily. So I'm trying to bring up my other arm. So I just finished with this machine, just did about three sets, nice and light. 
and uh, this was my back workout. So I'm going to head on over and do some chin-ups, uh, reverse grip, and because my back is already pre-fatigued, I'm going to try to isolate the bicep on this. No swinging, no bouncing. Hey man, would you mind? Hey bud, can you do me a favor? Can you uh, take a video of me just doing some chin-ups? It's already rolling. Yep. Thanks man. Just hold it like that. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you for watching my back workout. That was it. That was the end of contest prep. And uh, I feel that I did what I could to dial in to uh, the final show there in Marlboro, Massachusetts. And it was a very, very uh, important competition and contest season for me to find out what my life would be like as a full-time engineering uh, designer, you know. And uh, it's certainly manageable. And it was nice to find out from my, uh, my engineering firm that, you know, the people that I work with, they support me in my endeavors outside of work. And uh, that's what it's all about, gentlemen, is living life. And, uh, you know, my hobby outside of work is certainly manageable. So next time you guys are, you know, pushing yourself to the limits, just sit here and remember this. I'm watching myself in this video and I'm saying, yes, I did that. And I'm well into off season, and I'm I'm very happy of my uh, my hard work and my achievements. So I hope you guys keep pushing forward. You know, off season for me, I'm pushing forward, and I've parked that treadmill. <laughs> I don't miss it, but I I am on it. You know, once every two weeks, once a week, uh, just to keep the cardio rust off, and uh, so I don't get hit as hard as I did this contest prep. You guys have a good week. Cheers.